It's a Monday. Well wishes to everyone out there. Here's a little article I found about the supposed impending rock for 2013. Well, let's go through it and see what it's talking. Okay, they say in 2013 in February to avert a possible catastrophe from this asteroid 2012 DA14 they're considering confronting it with either paint or big guns. The stickler is this time the time is long run out to build a spaceship to carry out the operation. The data shows a 60 meter asteroid will whistle by the earth. Trajectory will bring within a hair's breadth, raising fears of a collision. Known as DA-14, passed by our planet February 2013, of under 27,000 kilometers, 16,700 miles. Closer than the geosynchronous orbit of satellites, some of them. Possibility it will collide with Earth, further calculation required to estimate potential threat. The Earth's gravitational field will alter the Earth's pass, the asteroid's pass significantly. Further scrupulous calculation is required to estimate the threat of collision. It may break down into dozens of small pieces or several large lumps may split from it and burn up in the atmosphere. The type of this, the asteroid and its mineral structure can be determined by spectral analysis. This will predict its behavior in the atmosphere and what should be done to prevent the potential threat. In the event of a collision, scientists have calculated that the energy release would equate to the destructive power of a thermonuclear bomb. In response to the threat, they've come up with some ingenious methods to avert a potential disaster. Well, oh boy, fireworks and watercolors. Spaceship is needed, they agree. You could shoot the rock down or just crash into it, either breaking the asteroid in debris or throwing it off course. Or, David Dunham says, we could paint it. Paint. Paint would affect the asteroid's ability to reflect sunlight, changing its temperature and altering its spin. It would stalk off its current course, but this could make the boulder more dangerous when it comes back in 2056. And I will have to go on to JPL and check this out. But this is February, and these are your distances over here. Well, I'll take a heavier look at this and make another video and let you know what I found. Whatever the mission, building a spaceship will take two years at least. It's been circling in orbit for three years already, past our time, or past our path several times. The asteroid may split into pieces entering the atmosphere. In this case, most of it will never reach the planet's surface. But, if the entire thing is to crash into the planet, the impact will be as hard as the Tunguska blast, which in 1908 knocked down trees over a total area of 830 square miles in Siberia. This is almost the size of Luxembourg. Destination of the asteroid is yet to be determined. Hmm. Well, we got time before February of 2013, so we'll take a look at that. I'll make a future video and let everybody know. Okay. Yeah, they had a little article about California got woke up to a couple of earthquakes and rattled things and knocked someone's chimney down. They're mainly tweeting and everything about kind of in a joking way. Mm, let's see. See what a couple of tweets said. Work better than coffee. 
5.40 a.m., 5.45 a.m. My shaky wake-up call seemed to last for 30 plus seconds. I'd rather not have a shaky wake-up call myself. But, they don't seem to think too much of it out there because they're so conditioned and used to it. We can see it. 4.0, then they go to 3.5, must be San Francisco Bay Area, Central California to 2.7, Northern Italy popped to 4.7, and the Philippines 4.6, Indonesia 5.1, Tonga 4.6, Indonesia 5.5. We're going to move down and find the Indonesia, or Argentina, popped off a 6.1, India. 5.2, Indonesia 5.1, Iraq 4.5, East Coast Honshu, Japan 5.1, Southeast Loyalty Islands 5, Kuril Islands 4.8, 5.5 Indonesia, 5.2 Chile, 5.1 Tonga, 5.6 Southeast of Loyalty Islands, 5.5 off the coast of Central America, 4.6 off the coast of Central America, Philippines 4.5, Russia 4.6, Kuril 4.6, Russia, Siberia, Southwestern 4.5, same thing, Russia 4.7, Fiji 5.3, Agency 5.4, Mediterranean in the western part of the sea 4.7, Loyalty Islands, 4.9. Sabawa region, Indonesia, 4.5. That would be dated 3.4. You can go back into 3.3. We see the big pop off here. 6.6, six, southeast of Loyalty Islands. Southeast of Loyalty Islands, 5.2. Chile, we see with two of them, five and four nine, four seven, Central California two nine, Northern two eight and two six on that day. A lot of four eight or four action, four and a half in Bolivia, Maluka Sea four eight, Leeward Islands four eight, East Coast Honshu, Japan four eight, Russia four five. Japan 4.6, Japan 4.5, Philippines 4.7. So we've covered about everything. So we see the big ones were the Loyalty Islands with the 6.6, 6, and now we have Argentina with 6.1. And we can pick out a region. Doesn't matter where we go. And we can find our fives. We got a couple of sixes. We have some sun activity. We could have some sun activity. We may not. We'll just have to take a look at that area. Let's see if we get something where it's facing the planet. Uh, you watching the skies? You can really see Jupiter and Venus getting closer. And you can see Mars real good. I think maybe tonight is supposed to be, tonight's the 5th, I believe maybe tonight is when Mars is supposed to be pretty good to look at. And I believe Saturn is also uh, able to be seen. Now I've seen Mars, Jupiter, and Venus, but I haven't really paid attention to Saturn. So let's see if I can find Saturn, get a little look at that tonight sometime. I've heard him talking on the TV just now 
they're talking about Obama having the authority to call for uh, strike slash assassination or slash give the order for uh, termination on an American citizen. And they're, they're talking about uh, what if you were an American citizen and you join the enemy, then would the same protection apply to you because you were an American who traded off and went for the bad guy's side. So far it looks like he's gonna gonna do it. I'm not messing with him about what he's done so far. And from what I understand, uh, we're just kind of playing games. It's just conversation between us and Israel about don't do it, we want to be the ones to do it first, but we really don't want to do it first. And No, we want you guys to do it first. And I'm still staying on what, I'm, what I've said before. It doesn't matter what we think in the ultimate scenario. Israel will do what they need to do to protect their people and their country. When you're surrounded by people that want to kill you, you're going to do what you need to do when you need to do it. And especially if nobody's going to help you. Dad always said to me, most of the time, son, if you want a job done right, you're going to end up having to do it yourself. So, with that mantra, you're going to see them put something into action here in the future. We'll keep an eye on this earthquake situation as the March 22nd videos have rolled out. We've already been out. I've already seen one proponent of that make another video to cover themselves in case nothing happens on March 22nd. Now it's been elongated out to it could be all the way to 2018 by this person. Well, at least one of them is figuring out that what they said before has got a good chance of not panning out. What happens here whenever you do this <clears throat> It's like Chicken Little. You say the sky's falling too much and then nobody listens to you whenever it really is falling. Well, I still say March 22nd is just going to pass de depending on whether we get a CME. We get a CME, we could see them some higher elevation magnitudes. But uh, I'm just not seeing anything special on that day. I've either missed it or I've got it, one of the two. So on that note, I'm going to let you all go and we'll get ready for work. And I'll be looking into that orbit diagram for that asteroid in 2013. I'll be putting something out here pretty soon on that. Show you exactly what the... JPL shows anything else I can find on it. Y'all be good. You keep looking up at night in March. Because in March, there's a lot of things to see. We're here. Now's the time if you got clear, clear vision. And let's pray that these storms and these tornadoes and everything that's been going around go away. It just tore the crap out of several places in several states. A lot of people died. So they need our prayers and support. Pray for all people all over the world. There's dire straits in many regions. So y'all be good. I'll speak to you soon. God bless everyone.